We're in the final stages of winter. The majority of the birds you're looking at this evening will be uh, on their migration very, very shortly. There's already been movements of Buick swans reported at our centre at Wellney in East Anglia, and uh, large movements of Buick swans beginning to uh, track back towards the breeding ground from Holland. So really it's only a matter of uh, days or weeks before the majority of these birds start to move. Now the reason they have been able to uh, become tame, if you like, that the way that these birds do come in here for the feed every day and uh, do come relatively close to us like this is uh, basically something that's been built up over years and years. The majority of these birds are very long-lived. If you uh, look round to the right-hand side, you'll see the red-bricked house with the tower. It's Peter Scott's house. Lady Scott still uh, lives in there today. And maybe I'll see one of the lights on in there. It's a uh, kitchen. See, has a fantastic view of the uh, birds from there. Probably one of the best garden bird feeds in the world, I would imagine. So, and obviously there's a, a few signets here this evening. Their parents have uh, been here before. Those youngsters will learn all about this feed and uh, eventually bring their own youngsters here. Now, because Buick swans are long-lived birds, they also take a long time to develop. And uh, it's really not until they're around the age of uh, four to six years old that they actually look for a mate. And uh, Buick swans, generally speaking, don't have their first brood of youngsters until they're seven years old. Now, I did mention not all the swans here uh, this evening at Buicks. You can see the, the first three swans coming into the bay just behind me uh, are all mute swans. The structure is very different. Mute swan bar. Uh, so Buick swan is the uh, smallest swan in Europe. Also, the actual shape of the bird is very different. In the water, Buick swans sit uh, relatively low, quite flat. The mute swans very high raised back, long pointy tail. Now, the more and more Buick swans which do come into the bay, do have a look at the bill patterns and you should see uh, every single one is just slightly different. Good uh, number of wildfowl beginning to come in now. We see two species of geese, the Canada geese, which are uh, short, so the grey-like geese are these guys with the pink legs and orange bills. Although generally everyone regards them as a, a species which is localised, uh, nearly all these birds, and the closest goose to me here with the, the white ring on its leg, um, all of these birds with white rings have been ringed in Glasgow, so it's a, a lot of movement between Scotland and here. It doesn't survive too well in the wild, but uh, she's still going. Uh, featured in many of the national newspapers again this year. She's dead in front of the large brown muddy island on the right hand side now. Now obviously the, the, the newspapers are quite interested. With uh, Valentine's Day coming up. She's, That's excellent. Coming back. Right, now they've gone to burn.